What's going on guys? Steven Bears Loves the Earth is back with another video. So today, as you can tell by this title, we're going to be doing an offline translation battles. Right. For Google Translate versus Yandex Translate. And let's get on with this. Alright, I got my phone load up right here. And I'm about to screen record it. I'll put the screen right there. And then, these are the current translation for offline. Yeah, you can tell the ones by the check mark right here. If this doesn't have the check mark, that means it's not available offline. Like, example, Frisian isn't available offline. You can see some of the check marks. Like that. The current translation for offline. And then, let's just say you want Bosnian languages and you don't have this offline. Which that's kind of sucks. So, if I'm offline, I'm going to go ahead and put on airplane mode. And then, no offline for Bosnian. And then, you said, can it said, can translate, check your network connection. So, if I hop over to Yandex Translate. I already got these languages, like, those are the languages that's not available offline. Let's just say you want to pick Bosnian. As you can see, I'm on airplane mode. I'm on airplane, airplane mode. And you got your Bosnian language available offline. Yep. Yandex Translate got everything. Not that much for like Google Translate for all the these languages offline, but Yandex Translate has some of the languages that it's not available offline on Google Translate. Like Bosnian isn't available offline. And then let's see what else is there that's the language that's not available offline in Google Translate. So next up is Latin. I'm gonna go to Latin. Latin is not available. Available. Latin is not available offline. And as you can see, this language Latin is not available offline. So if I, let me copy this and paste it. So if I hop over to Yandex Translate, if I paste it, you got yourself a Latin offline translation is available offline on Yandex Translate. And then you got yourself an offline translation for Latin. Let's see what else is there. Next up is Malagasy. Malagasy. Malagasy doesn't support the offline translation. Malagasy isn't. I meant to spell that. Available. Available. Offline on Google Translate. And then, you don't get Malagasy for offline translation on Google Translate. Let me just copy this and paste it just to make sure. Next up is, Ma so I have Malagasy load up. It is available offline on Yandex. Yandex Translate. And you get yourself a Malagasy offline translation because I'm still on airplane mode, so that obvious means you're not on the Wi-Fi. So you can see it says offline mode. You can tell by that. And then, next up is Mongolian. So I'm going to be putting like this. Mongolian is available offline on Google Translate. Copy this. And then, if I go to Mongolian, you get... Can translate, check your network connection. It's the same thing again as these languages that doesn't support offline. 
So if I go ahead and hop over to Yandex Translate, I already download these files offline. And then we paste it right here. Yandex. Yandex. And then delete that. Mongolian is available offline on Yandex Translate. And then you get Mongolian offline translation, which is pretty cool. I like how Yandex Translate does it like this. Like it supports like some of the languages that's not available offline, just like on Google Translate. So Mongolian is available offline on Yandex Translate. Next up is Punjabi. So if I go ahead and if I put Punjabi and select Punjabi that means Punjabi isn't available offline on Google Translate so let me just copy this and paste it so if I hop over to Yandex Translate and then you get Punjabi offline is available on Yandex Translate. So you got yourself a Punjabi offline translation battles. So I'm gonna be naming the title um, Google Translate versus Yandex Translate offline translation battles. And then I'm stay t make sure you stay tuned to this video because I'm not finished yet. Punjabi is available offline on Yandex Translate. Okay. So next up, one more language, which is Sinhala. Sinhala comes from Sri Lanka. Sinhala isn't available offline on Google Translate. So if I so if I hop over to Sinhala and then I paste it right here, you'll get Sinhala offline translation is available offline on Yandex. That's why I had to replace the words because of the different apps, translation apps. Sinhala is available offline on Yandex Translate. You get yourself a Sinhala offline translation. So if I, I can make the screen bigger like this, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. And then I'm gonna show you what's the difference. So I'm so I'm gonna use that as an example of um, what language should I put? I'm gonna select I'm gonna select my favorite language, Japanese. Hello, Japanese is available offline, but I got to show you what's the difference about this. How are you? And then, I know you got your Japanese offline translation, but that speaker you can't even hear while you're offline. So if I go, so if I go ahead and go to Yandex Translate. So if I select, what else? So if I select Japanese, yeah, I didn't download Japanese offline. So if I put that. You can you can click on the speaker icon just to hear it. Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? Which is pretty cool. You can hear the speaker while you're offline. Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? Konnichiwa, o genki desu ka? Yeah, I already know the Japanese writing, but I didn't download this file offline. So you don't have to worry about that. So I hope this video helps. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video so far. Post, post your comment down below to see what you think about this. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out.